Listen to your soul for the truth. Hey kiddos, thanks so much for joining me for episode 5 of Chronicles in Critiquing, where we are going to take a look at the Super Robot Wars 30th Anniversary trailer. Now this trailer just came out on July 12th of 2021, and it is for the game that is coming out on October 28th, 2021 for the Nintendo Switch, the Sony PlayStation 4, and PC, um, possibly one or two other platforms as well. I thought before I'd get into the trailer, I'd just sort of give a brief recollection of my history with the Super Robot Wars series, just so you kind of understand which games I've played and which ones I've liked, um, and how that may influence my interpretation, uh, you know, and reaction to the trailer. So I got into the Ro Super Robot Wars series in uh, 2020, when I started with the Switch one, and I played Super Robot Wars T, V, and X. And then I went back and started from the beginning, and I played the original Super Robot Wars for Game Boy, which although it did not ever get an official translation, there are some good fan translations uh, out there as well. I'm a super big fan of, of the series. Obviously, I played the first one, well, the first one for Switch, which then got me the second one and then the third one, and then I'm kind of trying to start to go work my way through the beginning and kind of go through them. Um, obviously, I think that the latter ones are a lot different than the earlier ones. Sort of the, call them like the Switch ones again, uh, T, V, and X. Those, the kind of the way they did it is they sort of created a, an original storyline that sort of weaves in um, different storylines and plot points and characters from all these different robot shows and kind of makes them all more or less take place in the same universe or kind of the same multiverse. You know, sometimes they're traveling between different dimensions through this, that, the other thing kind of creates relations between the characters that didn't previously exist and sort of allows for a lot of fun interactions, um, a lot of fun battles, and lets you kind of create your super ultimate team. I don't think the games are, at least the Switch ones, are sort of particularly challenging, you know, even getting, even playing on like the hardest difficulty for the ones that have difficulty um, and for, you know, getting the special super robot challenge in every level. Uh, it's usually not too much work. I think it's, you know, more just of a fun game to play through. There's a lot of storyline and a lot of text. Um, you know, again, you're really, I think, kind of playing it for the interactions between these characters and sort of getting to play with all of your characters on the same team. Now, the original Robot Wars is a little bit different, or maybe a lot a bit different. Um, it only features mobile suits from, you know, three series, kind of called maybe the big three, Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, Getter Robo, and Mazinger. And there's not a ton of a storyline. Obviously, it was a game for the original Game Boy. Um, you know, I think they kind of write in a storyline, but there's, you know, not much to it. And also, the game is sort of brutally difficult. Uh, difficult in the, less in the sense of like oh this level is hard and more in the sense of oh you did not get every secret item that's completely hidden in the game and now you're on level nine and you cannot proceed with the game any further so i would recommend that if you do go back and play at least the original one i don't know about the latter ones um probably would be best to use a guide to find um some of the hidden items that uh, give your character power-ups and stuff like that otherwise you might kind of wind up at the end of the game unable to proceed. Um, also kind of I thought was also a little bit weird about that game is it sort of incentivizes you to only get like one or two really really strong units which is sort of I feel like the opposite of tactical RPGs um, you know they came out you know after that say like in the late 90s and, and early 2000s. I, I should mention kind of maybe briefly just sort of what the gameplay is like as well um, if, in case you've never played one before. So it's basically a um, tactical RPG. So the entire level is kind of split up into a grid with, you know, spaces, and each character has a certain amount of spaces that they can move. Sort of you have your robot army. You typically have, you know, like one to three um, flagship ships, which could be anything from the space battleship Yamato to the Arcadia to the White Base or, you know, really anything from a, a number of these different shows. And, you know, there are some enemies that you're fighting. Typically, the battles have to do with some iconic moments from these series. Sometimes they combine different series. But the really 
in my opinion, I think kind of the main, um, you know, appeal of the franchise is that they usually have characters from, you know, tons of different shows, like 20 to 30 different, you know, robot shows from, you know, all, all through time, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, um, and just kind of gain to, like I said, just make a, t- make a team with all your favorite characters. I think they've probably expanded or loosely interpreted the definition of a super robot show for some of these. For instance, they have um, characters and ships from Cowboy Bebop, Space Battleship Yamato, uh, Arcadia of My Youth, you know, those are probably not things that people might cons- might not consider to be mech shows or super robot shows, but it is fun to have the characters. And I mean, I think the whole point of this game is to just have fun and have a bunch of cool characters. So, you know, why not? A lot of the shows and the figures that I open, you know, I kind of first learned about it from, from Super Robot Wars, and it's definitely got me interested in watching some other shows. So suffice to say, I'm a big fan of the series. Um, I've mostly just played the newest ones, and I'm very excited about Super Robot Wars, um, you know, 30. So with all that being said, I uh, took a few notes while uh, watching the trailer, so I guess I'll just kind of go through them. Nothing, you know, super amazing here, but just thought I had a few, you know, comments and about some of the different shows that they announced will be, you know, having characters in the game. I think the first thing that really um, kind of caught my attention was just sort of the dramatic timing and presentation of the trailer. It seemed, you know, very Hollywood, not something I would expect, you know, from a video game almost something almost like a parody of a trailer for for super robot wars which i feel like is you know more of like a, a light-hearted game kind of getting into the specific uh characters they announced so the first one was um combattler 5 or vm not 100 percent sure to, how to pronounce that i thought it was an interesting one to start off with i'm not sure if there's a huge clamoring for that series in the game maybe there is um he has a cool yo-yo so i'm interested in you know checking it out it's definitely a show that i've seen um heard about but i've never actually watched an episode of uh mazinger z infinity was the next one that they mentioned i thought was interesting so obviously the big three of super robot wars is you know mazinger get a robo and mobile suit gundam i thought it was weird that for mazinger and get a robo they used sort of newer um versions of the show or interpretations of the show whereas for gundam they used the original so mazinger z infinity is you know probably from the last five years or so and get a robo i believe they're using the uh get a robo armageddon which you know i think is like late 90s um just just sort of something odd you know i thought maybe if they were going to go with all newer interpretations for mobile suit gundam they could go with you know the origin or something like that but i'm sure it'll you know be fine and i guess sort of speaking of gundam uh, there's obviously going to be a bunch of Gundams, including Zeta Gundam, and I think notably they're using the original Zeta Gundam, not the new translation compilation movie, so hopefully we'll get to see some scenes that were cut out of those movies. You know, one of my favorite scenes is definitely uh, Quattro's speech, so I'm hoping that maybe we'll get a, um, you know, a scene that has to do with that. Uh, there's going to be um, Victory Gundam and Gundam Narrative, you know, Victory Gundam, I like that show. The, the mobile suits didn't really speak out to me, but, um, you know, should be cool. Gundam Narrative, love the suits in that show. I think that'll be a fun addition, and I don't think that's ever been in a Super Robot Wars before. And, of course, Char's Counterattack. I mean, we're not getting a 30th anniversary Super Robot Wars without the new Gundam, you know, and it's very distinctive, you know, fin funnels. A lot of Gal Gygar in this trailer, which I'm pretty excited about. There's going to be Gal Gygar Final and Gal Gygar versus Better Man. I think anybody, um, you know, who's watched this channel knows that I'm a big fan of Gal Gygar, and I actually like Gal Gygar Final more than I did the show, so I'm really happy to see those, and hopefully this is a sign that there is still some interest in doing some more stuff in the Gal Gygar world, specifically maybe an anime um, of Gal Gygar versus Better Man, so hope, hope to see that. Code Geass, I think they're going to be doing, I think, the one of the compilation movies and sort of the newest one like Laloch of the Resurrection. I'm not a super big fan of Code Geass. The first season was all right. Um, I have some metal of the metal robot fig, metal robot spirits figures that I'm gonna you know unbox on the channel. I'm not super excited about it, but there's some cool mobile suits, so it should be cool. Um, Magic Knight Ray Earth. That's a show that I've never watched, but I've kind of always wanted to get into. So maybe this will be the excuse to do it. There's a cool um, Sentinel figure that's 
I think recently released that I kind of been looking at, so maybe this will be an excuse to get that and watch the show. Gun Sword. This was in some of the other Super Robot Wars, and I just don't understand why Bandai seems to be shoving this one down our throats. I don't know if there's like a huge fan base for this. I've never heard anybody talk about Gun Sword. Maybe the Super Robot Wars fandom really likes it. Just seems sort of shoehorned um, into this. And then there's, you know, a few other shows, um, you know, Night and Magic, Jay Decker. I guess, I guess my kind of final thoughts about all the things that they announced is that it seems like it's more newer shows like 90s and 2000s and not, you know, some of the older robot, ro robot stuff from 60s, 70s, you know, 80s. It's not necessarily a problem. I just thought that for the, the big 30th anniversary, they would do something that's really exploring the entire history of the genre and maybe not just, you know, the latter half of, of the history. I'm not 100% sure that everything mentioned in the trailer is the final list or if there'll be additions. You know, they showed a lot of the DLC and the DLC music so you could, you know, spend extra money and get, you know, the official themes from the show. So it seemed like you know, all, all of the shows that they announced in the trailer have associated DLC um, music, so it seems like that's probably all that there's going to be, but maybe there'll be a few more, you know, surprises up their sleeve. And sort of speaking of the DLC, I am excited about some of the Super Robot Wars um, OG stuff that's going to be in there, uh, especially the uh, SRX unit. Um, just watched the first anime, and I'm excited about that giant, you know, transforming figure coming out later this year. So looking forward to being able to play that in the sh um, in the game. And finally, of course, I can't go without mentioning the new robot that's going to be debuting, which is the Huck Ben 30. Um, kind of probably, you know, a little bit of a variant uh, on kind of a a unit that's shown up in other Super Robot Wars before. I'm really excited that there's going to be a like super limited edition that's going to have a Metal Robot Spirits version Ka version of that figure. Um, super excited about that. I have that pre-ordered. So I guess closing thoughts. I'm excited about this game. I think that the cast could have been a little bit more all-encompassing, especially for the 30th anniversary. Would have loved to see some stuff like Super Sentai, Sentai or Power Rangers work their way in like it did in the um, mobile game, though maybe getting the console rights is a little bit more difficult. The game's coming out for Switch, PlayStation 4, and PC. In the U.S., we're only going to be getting the PC version, but there is going to be a, um, an Asian version for the Switch that's going to be in English, uh, entirely in English, all the dialogue, menus, etc. So that's the version that I'm kind of planning to play. The only annoying thing about that one is that getting the DLC is just a big bother because you have to get um, an e-car that's good in the Hong Kong gift shop and then redeem it, and getting one of those online is just a little bit tricky. Not impossible, just a little bit of... Um, you know, inconvenience. Anyway, really excited about this game. Like I said, I've pre-ordered both the version Ka Metal Robot Spirits Edition and a regular um, Switch copy for me to play. Looking forward to it coming out. Uh, if this is the first video you're watching on the channel, please check out some of the other videos. This is the first video game kind of reaction that I'm doing. I typically do um, unboxings and occasionally some anime reviews. New episodes go up every Wednesday, so definitely check those out. There's a lot of stuff um, a lot of the unboxings are things from the Super Robot Wars. You know, that's kind of what got me interested in doing the channel and kind of getting into figures. So going to see a lot of overlap there. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out the video. Please check out some of the others and keep collecting.